Hello and welcome back to sessions on Amadeus with Travel Academy English. My name is Gaurav Gira and today we will understand how do we add a bassinet uh, in a booking. You know, what is the procedure to add a bassinet? And uh, so bassinet you can, you know, name it as a a baby cot or baby bassinet. Uh, let me show you how does a bassinet look like. A bassinet seat is basically, uh, you know, for infants. Uh, we we have discussed how many kind of uh, you know passengers we have for infants who are below the age of 2 we need to add a bassinet so there are two kinds of infants that you have one is infant on lap and one is infant on seat infant on lap is somebody is a, is an infant who is going to sit on the lap of the passenger infant on seat is uh, the infant who is below the age of 2 uh, but it he or she occupies a seat so and the reason why he or she occupies a seat uh, i have explained in the uh, video where we have learned how to add the passengers the infant adult and child and if you're coming here for the first time you can uh, like the video subscribe the channel and we we regularly update uh, this channel with uh, amadeus videos we also have a hindi channel where we have uh, uh, you know uh, over 65 videos on uh, on amadeus and uh, here we are progressing and this is basically made for the people who are uh, not hindi speaking and they want to learn amadeus so we started uh, these videos for them hope this will be helpful you can join the telegram channel which has uh, around 1500 subscribers already uh, we update it with uh, the iata content and uh, you know the latest information exclusive uh, travel academy content is also available there now let let us come to the point uh, so If you look at this one this this small infant is basically sitting on uh, a bassinet this is a baby bassinet and uh, to assign this what we need to do is uh, we need to go to a pnr so we are assuming that we have a pnr right now and the passenger is saying that he or she wants uh, you know a, a bassinet for the infant as you can see on this reservation there is this adult and there is also an infant here so what we do is we run a command which is uh, bassinet the code is bsct bravo sugar charlie tango so sr bsct slash passenger number 1 so we also do passenger associations basically the command is sr and bsct and then you can do uh, a passenger association which is p1 slash segment number if you want to assign this to a specific segment you can do segment number 2 uh, or if you want to assign it for both you can either skip it or you can just do slash s2 comma 3 because the segment number is 2 and 3 now let's press enter uh here we go we have uh, on the line number 8 and 9 you can see bsct the code is here here it is the code and it says hk now whenever you see this status which says hk this basically means that whatever service you have requested for is confirmed there are other status also i will discuss with you in in another video where you can uh, you know learn those status but let me show you uh, you know how these status look like if you see an hk or a kk it means it is confirmed i'm just giving you a rough idea so that you won't have a problem in understanding whether the you know the service is confirmed or not or uh, you see a no or un uc ux or uh, hx it means it is not confirmed although all of these have a different meaning but i'm just giving you a rough idea that this means it is not confirmed you see an hn nn or uh, hl uh, you won't see hl here generally you will see hn or nn it means request or pending so this is basically how we see uh, the status now if you look at this uh, we know that if if you see an hk here hk1 because we are assigning it for one passenger this means it is confirmed let us save it i am just doing rf i am entering my name er er and then refreshing it with ir now you see it says bsct is confirmed 
and uh, bassinet seat assignment required for bassinet there so basically it is confirmed and if a passenger reaches the airport uh, then uh, you know he or she will get the bassinet for the infant what we will be covering now in the following videos is passport uh, how to add a passport, how to add seats, how to add meals. So very similar topics are going to be covered. I hope uh, you understood this topic. We will start a new topic in the next video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, you're coming here for the first time. You can subscribe the channel if you like the video and you can share it with people who are in the same industry. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.